Here, no, uh, I don't know what oh. I'm gonna say. I'm not ready, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to this week's episode. Thanks for tuning in last week. We appreciate all the views and uh, the subscribers. Every week we're gonna try and do something different, but it's just kind of our day-to-day -day lives on the farm. So we're just kind of gonna kind of tape what we have going on anyway. So this week we have uh, Stella coming into heat. And we'll also be hooking Rizzo and Dolly up and uh, taking the boys for a sleigh ride. Hey. <laughs> Are we ready to do some backhoe work? Are you ready for back on work? Just getting a halter ready. Uh, Matt's coming home about an hour early from work. He's gonna take Stella to the vet to get her checked. We actually have a storm coming in, so we're just a little bit nervous that if Matt has to drive her to Quebec, that he will be doing it in a snowstorm. So we'd rather see that it's a good heat and she's gonna ovulate, uh, take her a little bit early. She can stay for a bit, uh, hopefully be bred and we can pick her up after the storm. Uh, we also got our camera hooked up last night. Unique was actually showing a little bit. She has uh, a little bit of the yellow crystals and in our experience, uh, they usually don't full uh, when they have the yellow crystals. It has to be like the clear wax, but at least it's another sign that she is getting close. Love you, have fun. Bye Stella. Hey guys, just getting back uh, from the vets. Uh, I'm not sure how much I got on uh, video there, but uh, we checked Le Coulier, Doyle, Stella today. Um, she ovulated three weeks ago, so we wanted to see where she was at. She's not quite there. She's got a bunch of little follicles, nothing really dominant coming on. So uh, we're gonna check her here again in, a, uh, yeah, probably five, six days and see if anything's coming on strong. But we just saved ourselves a trip and uh, wasted breeding by, by checking her, and, and that's why we check them, right? So it's only, it's a cheap cost to take them and check them and know where they are, and it just takes the guesswork out of it. So. <laughs> Sorry? 
Yes, I do. Sorry. She just looks so cute. Look at her. Use that camera and that Wi-Fi thing. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, it is. Got a little frosty last night, girls. And boy in the back. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Hi, uh, Matt and I are just doing chores on Saturday. Uh, usually we put the boys down uh, around three o'clock. They go pretty hard during the day. So they actually sleep from about three till five o'clock. We wake them up at five. Uh, they need that kind of two hours. So Matt and I can pretty much hammer out chores in the two hours while they're napping. But during the week, I take the boys out and try to get a few pens done in the morning. And then I don't have as much uh, to do when I do put them down. But a lot of you have been asking about the mare that is going to full. So I just wanted to show you Unique. She, uh, she likes her scratches. So that's why she keeps edging her way closer here. All right, this might be hard for me to get because Unique knows I give her scratches, so she keeps edging her way closer to me. <laughs> Hi, Unique. Uh, so Unique is actually due on February 8th. The, that was her last breeding date, but we did get the vet out to check her, and the way they, they said she was 16 days when I thought she was 20 days, so that could have just meant she ovulated a little bit later than we thought. So, you know, there's obviously a few days leeway she might not be due till around the 12th looking at her she is big and round uh, but she does have a ways to go so we actually look at their bag um, and she has you can see it's still kind of floppy uh, and it will fill up a lot more than that and also out the back it will fill up uh, when they're really close to folding um, the end of their teats there, they actually get some wax build up uh, and sometimes actually leak milk the odd time. And usually that's like a 12 to 24 hour uh, window. But again, every mare is different and we've had mares leak for, you know, two or three days. All right, now we're getting really technical and maybe YouTube will uh, ban this. <laughs> but if you look at the back, her vulva back here will really, really elongate uh, when she's getting close to full. So as you can see, she's not quite there. And she is a first time, first time fulling. Uh, so won't probably get as long as other mares, but uh, you'll definitely, definitely notice a difference if we compare this video to say, we take a video, you know, days before. So as you can see, huge belly. <laughs> and if you go to her back end, right here, this is called the croup. Uh, she'll get a lot softer in this area. It actually, as you can see, it kind of, I'll try and get the angle here, but it almost indents here, uh, where usually it's a lot fuller, uh, but it'll get a lot softer before she uh, is ready to full. Um, since the last time I completely, you know, went over her, I would say that she is a lot closer than the last time I looked, but she's definitely not having a full tonight. Are you? No. I have had some comments on my Instagram as well that we use straw and how much work that is. And yes, it is a ton of work, but in the winter, we really like to use straw. Uh, we're using oat straw, so you kind of get that double value out of it. Mares can pick through it and then anything else can just be used for bedding. Uh, we find that, I don't know, the barn has stayed right around zero or above zero. We haven't had to break uh, much ice this winter at all. So I find it just provides a lot more heat. And then especially when we're having these winter foals, um, the straw is definitely where it's at in this barn. I do love shavings in the summer just because it's so much easier uh, and cooler. The heat really helps not only to keep the barn warm, but it also helps with the growth of their hooves. 
As you can see, Miss Stella right now is eating the oat straw that Matt just put in for her hello. <laughs> we have no personal space up in here. Uh, but yeah, the mares like to pick through the straw and then obviously the rest is used for bedding. Making a nice little uh, trail here for sleigh rides tomorrow, hopefully. It's pretty neat through this side, so plow it out. Make it a little easier on the glides. Adventure? Out for a sleigh ride? Yeah, baby. <laughs> You sit on your bum, please. Thank you. You guys ready? Ready? Yeah. This is uh, our biggest form of entertainment in the winter. We uh, go for sleigh rides. So Matt uh, hitched up Dolly and Rizzo today. What are you doing? <laughs> Tell everybody what we did this weekend. Go on a sleigh ride. We did go on a sleigh ride, didn't we? Was it fun? Who pulled the sleigh? Dolly. Dolly, and who else? Rizzo. And Rizzo. Hey, there's somebody in the barn that's gonna have a baby. Who is that? Eddie. Unique. And do you want to tell everybody what the name is that you chose? Light. Lightning. Oh, if it's a boy then. What if it's a girl? You could have lightning still. Lightning still? Okay, well, that's good. Thanks for tuning in this week. We really appreciate um, all the enthusiasm around it. Uh, Matt and I just did it. As uh, we had an idea one night, and we're like, well, we should try it. And uh, the feedback and messages and encouragement that we've had um, is awesome. So thank you. Uh, we're kind of leaving this week's episode off on Stella's in heat. Um, so we will be checking her. So next week, hopefully, um, you can tune into the Stella heat saga. Uh, and maybe we will even have a fall on the ground at that point. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, unique start in a show some serious signs and looks like uh, she's got some wax on her inside of her legs and and uh yeah stella had a 35 male follicle the last time we checked her and tons of edema so that's a good sign we're just uh she also had a small follicle there that uh vet was unsure if it was gonna come on so we're gonna check her again here at the end of the week and see if she's ready to breed and and uh, she only has one. Instead of our choice is actually for Stella is in Quebec. We're going to cross her the same way that we cr that uh, the two offspring that she had, Superman and Brooke, that we talked about in the first episode. So plan on crossing her that way. So we're kind of hoping it works out when Unique um, is, you know, going to hold off. Hopefully, while Matt goes to Quebec. Um, yeah. That'd be nice. Or, as it before during the snowstorm, which yes. has happened to us before. Yeah, we've had a few falls in ice storms, snowstorms, and they're not due for a little bit. And it, I don't know something about it. It just seems to to bring it on. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, be sure to like and hit the subscribe button. Appreciate we'll, it. We'll see you next week.